Hi guys. So today I will be, um, today is five, day five of the devotionals, and it is called Mischief Making. Um, Bible tip. Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them, for their heart study of destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Proverbs 24, 1 through 2. Timely tip. Some people think that being full of mischief is being very clever, but the dictionary defines it as performing harm, making damage, trouble or vexation, a harmful quality or character, something that annoys and causes trouble. This is what the Bible says about those who make mischief. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of God endureth continually. Thy tongue despises of mischief like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Selah. Thou lovest all the borrowing words, O thou deceitful tongue. Psalm 52, 1-4. through four. Does this sound like the description of a Christian who is living for the Lord? It surely does not. Perhaps you have heard parents say of their children they are so full of mischief. According to God's word, a clearer interpretation of that sentence would be they are so full of sin. Mischievousness is sin. It causes trouble and harm. It annoys us and vexes and vexes. It is damaging. A Christian young man said, I guess I'm just full of the devil. As he spoke, he sm a smile played on his lips. He thought he was making a clever statement about himself, but he was actually revealing a horrible truth. The devil had control of his actions. Mischievousness is nothing of which we are to be proud. It is something to be laughed at. It is rather something to be prayed about. It is nothing to make us feel clever. It is something to make us feel ashamed. Ashamed that we cannot live more in the image of God. Ashamed that we have chosen to make mix same. Ashamed that we have become so twisted in our thinking that we cannot find a better pattern of our for our lives. Remember, being full of mischief is being full of sin. A final tip. Mischief, mischief making isn't smart. It's just copy saints art. In the additional reading of the Bible, it is Psalms 52, 1 through 9. I will be here. I will be pulling that out for you guys. Hold on one sec. Find it. I really do enjoy doing this. I really do enjoy doing these devotionals because I don't know, I just I love sharing stuff with you guys that is from the Lord and I just saying you know saying saying stuff out of devotion a lot of the bible every day and hoping you guys get out of it i really do enjoy it um here we are it says why boast of thou thyself in mischief O many men the goodness of god endureth continually the tongue despise of mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully thou lovest evil morning good and lying rather than to speak righteousness Siva. Thou lovest evil morning good and lying rather than to speak righteous in the Sila. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and put thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Sila. The righteousness also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is a man that made not God a strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened, strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever, because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. Yeah, that's really good. Um... I especially love the last few verses of the Bible scripture I was reading out of today. I especially love those. We're like, you know, like it says in the Bible, we're like a green olive tree. Um, basically, um, living for the Lord will grow, will, will grow daily in, by in Him. You know, if we spend time with Him. 
spend quality time with him every day and we spread the gospel and that stuff we're growing continually in God every day and us as trees go bigger and bigger and bigger yeah that's very true and if we don't we'll we'll slowly shrink our us trees will always shrink but as as human beings mischievous is it's not okay it, it is full of sin and we may think that we can get away with whatever we want but we cannot we can't just act like that we need to be living for the lord and not living for the world and not being full of sin we should be not walking by the flesh but walking with the spirit by the spirit and walking with the spirit and walking with the lord continually every single day we shouldn't be trying to walk in sin just because we'll try to impress friends or impress people we can't just try to impress people because we cannot be people pleasers because the world's not going to satisfy us. The Lord's going to satisfy us. So we understand that we can't try to impress people because that's just not going to get us anywhere. They'll, it'll lead us down to sin and it'll lead us so far away from God and we do not want that. I was, I was so this close. I was this close to probably not coming back. But it's because of the Lord that I'm here, that I'm having, that I'm continuing to have a relationship with him, which is really great. And if it wasn't for the Lord, I, I probably would be far and sin, but praise the Lord. I'm, I'm serving the Lord and I'm in a relationship with him. So I'm really happy about that, but we need to stop walking down the road of sin not trying to be full of mischief but remember we need to be walking daily with the Lord and not walking daily with mischief yeah. thank you um we this is a day this is a day where we stop walking in mischief and sin and where we start living for the Lord we're not guaranteed tomorrow. It's very true. One well said. Good night, Cadence. Good night. Hi, guys. Hi. Good night, everybody. Oh, that's, Abby. that's my sister, Maisie. But anyway, today's the day where we stop doing that. We start living for the Lord and walking with the Lord and walking by the Spirit and out by the flesh and out with sin and mischief. Because that's going to lead us down a road where we do not want to go for walking by, walking in sin and by the flesh. And by mischief, it's going to lead us down a road where we do not want to go. And it's going to lead us so far away from the Lord. And I'm just telling you, please, please get out of that road and start going back on the road where the Lord wants you to be. On a path where the Lord wants you to spread the gospel. Spend time with Him every single day. And... Just being a light for him to others. It's time to get out of that sin. Please. I really hope you got something out of this devotional. I know I did. I mean, looking back. And with where God has brought me from being so full of sin. And, and I'm walking with the Lord every single day because of him. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. The Lord still does miracles, I'm telling you. It's like, it's like, it's like, even though it was a while ago, I would say it's like yesterday I was so full of sin, and it's like today, and it's like now, I'm so close to God, and, and it's because of the Lord, and I, I am just so grateful. I'm so grateful that he, that he brought me back to him. And then I went back home to him because look what he's doing in my life. I never wanted to leave in the first place. I'm so glad I'm back and I never want to leave aside again. God is so good. But I hope you got something out of this devotional. And if you did like this devotional, please like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Um, stay tuned for day six. Uh, if you didn't get it, six days. Sorry. <laughs>
Uh, I was trying to say day six and I said my language, my bad, I'm sorry. That came out of my mouth. But, um, again, have a great day. Day six. I meant to say day six. I'm sorry, my bad. I, I did not mean to say that. I, I don't, I don't do that, but. I was trying to day sit day sorry <laughs> I'm suffering my words I say things I don't mean to say like that but I'm trying to say day six be safe tuned for day six and you guys have a great day bye